Start a new project and this is from uh, a whimsical adventure and it's called Spring, Spring Fever, uh, excuse me. And let me show you just real quick what I have already pointed out of these lovely papers and it's really gorgeous. So let's see what we are going to make with it. It's really colorful. Pastel. I just printed the lightest colors out, but there are also some uh, some red ones and more brighter ones, and I really think it's wonderful. So let's see what I can make of it, and we start first with six of um, linen cardstock paper 30 by 30 and any paper will do but let's start with it and the first step is uh, let me show you the first step is you grab I, I do it just uh, one one second. You score three times one inch on each side of the paper, and then cut nine and a half inch. So let's do that. Let's score the first one inch. That's one. Let's do it again. At one inch, that's two. And another time. At one inch, that's three times. Now we can cut this one at nine and a half. So I measured it up and I cut it. Yep. Let's do the second step because we need two. Let's do it again. One inch score. One inch score, one inch score, and then we cut at nine and a half. Okay, that's the first step. Let's come back later for the other ones. Now we are going to fold. Oh, and I want to see the linen texture at the outside. Fold. And another one. Okay, now we cut just one more time, just one time, excuse me, just one time, like that. Then we put some tape on the little ones. Where's my acrylic? Here it is. And put some tape on. Yeah. And same thing at the other side. is so I can peel my tape off I like to use some extra glue and then we make a little box So 
give it a real push and let's do it again fold and another fold and another one Cut it. And you should take. glue and let's make another box give it a real push okay now what we are going to do is put some tape Oh, and I believe it was handier when I put the tape first on. But okay, we can do it anyway. So, I put some tape. It was definitely easier to go than if I put the tape before. But okay, we can manage this. We can manage. Just glue it on the inside. out perfectly. Now make sure your tape is really good attached to your paper. Now we peel it off. attached to each other and also a way where you can wiggle something around with the paper. Like this. Now the second part is coming in here. So let's slide it in. Make sure you have it perfectly matched to this side and if you are thinking it's set then you're going to push now I go to the other side and manage the same as the other side and I hope I it 
do it straight and then I do the bottom because if the sides are good then the bottom is also perfect so let's give it the extra burnish on its inside Up, I use my fingers. Yeah, so this is the first step. Okay, now the second step. Put this aside. That comes later. Let's grab our scoreboard and let's do the second. Second step is cut at nine three fourth of an inch, then score on half inch, and then cut at eight three of an eighth inch. Let's do it. So I first cut it at nine three fourth. Then I score at a half inch. Yeah. Then I fold it. And then I cut it with the fold line closed at eight three of an eight. That's one. Let's do it again. Cut it. Let's see if I am right. Yes, I am. Nine, three, four. Then score at a half inch. Fold it. And cut it at eight three four. Eight three four. Okay. Now you have two of these. And this is not eight. Three of an eight. It must be eight three of an eight. So guys. Yeah. So we need just two of these. So we can do it again. Nine three four. Nine three four. Yeah, there. Then score at a half inch. Fold it. And score at eight three of an eight. One last time, nine three four. Score at a half inch. And cut at eight three of an eight inch. Okay, and I did something wrong. <laughs> I have two different ones. Oh my god, which one is good? Let's match. The second one was good. That's okay. I'll make two more. Oh my god, what did I want to do wrong? This one's good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My, my, my. 
Let's grab a new one. What did I do wrong? Nine, three, four. I think I am. Oh, I see. I have a three, three of an eight, but it had to be nine, three, four. Oh yeah, that's my mistake. So I do real quick two new ones. Sorry guys, I always make a mistake. Eight, three of an eight. So we don't forget <laughs> nine three four. Nine three four. Cut it. Score at a half inch. Then fold. And then cut it at eight three four. And of course leave the Leave the hinge uh, at the left side. So eight, three, four. Uh, eight, three of an eight. So now you have four same sizes with all a half inch hinge. Okay. Now for the last page, the last step is uh, we oh so we do need seven of these we do need seven of these oh god okay now cut at nine seven of an eight inch let's do it cut nine seven of an eight seven of an eight right there okay then score at a half inch Half inch, then fold it, and then we cut at eight three of an eight, and the hinge is on the left side closed. So we cut it at eight three of an eight inch. That's all. Now, wide down top before you mix up the other ones. Now don't ever throw these away because you can use them for pockets. Okay, now let's put this aside and let's begin. I think I am going to use first the top before I mix up any mistakes. So what I did is I just cut, now I first put some tape on and then I cut the little edge off. So put some tape on and then I cut a little off. tape, uh, glue, and then I grab my box and I make sure that the opening is on the right side and then I glue this on top. Just a little, just a little, 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 tiny bit smaller than the bottom. I like that. So, be gentle to push. So this is our um, first page. And we do the magnets. Yeah, we do the magnets. 
before I forgot. Now if you have bigger ones, then you can use um, just one. But these are very small, but strong, but I like to use three of them. And I just put them in a position at the side. Just peel it off. And then close your page. And then they attach to the other side of your page. And then I seal it with some extra tape. So, that can't go any wrong. So this is the front. And now we put this aside for just a moment. Stand up straight. And now we are going to use these four. And the meaning is that we glue these two to each other. So this attached to each other. Now when I did my tryout, I um, I remember that my um, how you call this one? To make holes. Um, I don't get very far as I like so I think it's for me better that I push my holes first in it. So I line these straight on top and then I am going to measure first so there I like to be my holes and I think I like it on three inches. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's keep these together and I really hope I do it right. And just line it up in the middle and give it a push. And at the other side also. And then if we turn it around, I hope that the holes still match. And they did. Yes. So we can make a nice ribbon in it. Now I do, you have these, but now I don't can't attach them, of course, so that's a pity. But if you have a larger crocodile, or how you call this one, then you can use some bread. But I think I have some tool that I can use, but that's a problem for later. So, <laughs> we first are going to attach these two papers and yes I am going to use tape but not the over the holes of course Off. 
use some extra glue. I think I am getting a little cold again. It's a damn weather. I hate it. Let's see what's the easiest way to do it. I think I just line this one. First one is ready to go. Yeah, the first one is ready. Now the second one, I will do the same for the holes. So if you are having a larger crocodile, then you can do this later, but I just don't, so I will do it this way. And that's two. Let's move this big thing out of the way and just use again my tape. one is also ready yeah so this is the base yeah this is the base so now we can decorate everything so this is the first page for leaving photos in it and here we are going to attach some nice ribbon so you can pull this nice off and then you have two more of kind of books and we are going to decorate everything yeah i really like it yeah 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 let's decorate thanks for watching okay um this is how far i get i first decorate the outside so the front and the side and the back and the bottom and the bottom and the top so that is what I first did and I did um, put these in I don't know how you call these eyelets eyelets I believe yes I put the eyelets in and I put the women in so it's easy to pull out these and put these we are going to decorate later but now you can see that these are really handy to pull out and um, now we are going to decorate the first two pages so let's see what I came up with now the meaning of this is for if you have a small holiday then you don't have that many pictures for a 
really big album, but this is perfect for just putting some nice pictures on. And let's see how I am going to put these photo mats on. And I think this one and the yellow at the front. I think this is a nice layout when you make it also. It's also nice. Just put them in place whatever you like. Oh, I think I like this one. It's not that busy. Yeah. So what I do is... Um, because if you want to put a picture on, you don't glue this one, this side, totally down. And I always like to leave just a little spot somewhere where you can leave a nice tag. So let's see where I like to have a nice tag underneath. I think here is a nice spot. Spot. So this side I leave it open. So this I can glue it first down. Nice to the edges like this. And then this here, this, what, this side you leave open for to put a picture on it. And this side is open, so this I also like to be open. So we have room enough to put here a nice little tag. So we just glue this side and this side and just a little from this. So what I decide is... Just these two sides and this side. That's enough. Like so. So now we can put a little tag when the uh, glue is uh, dry yet. And uh, here we leave the opening for leaving a nice picture on it. Yeah. And you also... Uh, afterwards you can put a little flat embellishments because this is really going to be flat so you just yeah now the other one I want to be the opposite side side so I think I will do that again so this side open so Only this side we can glue it on. And then again on this, the upside, the upper side we leave open and just a little here. So this side and this side and just a little from this side we glue on. So I keep my finger on here. So I know where, how far the glue must go. So we glue it on. Yeah. And then these two are coming inside the album. Yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's get it in. Just letting you see how I make just a few little tags for this one. I already, I use the leftovers and I like to use a little pull out and I really like it to be flat so I use seam binding because that's really nice thin ribbon so I eyeball it in the middle and then I 
let it come back and put some tape over it so it really gets stuck there and then I put my design paper on and it does not matter how it goes but let's And then I push the whole thing really good together and then we have two tags for our first two pages and I want the dark one in here and I like this one a little yeah once it's in when it goes in and in and out then it will go easier yeah so we have two tuck spots ready to go and on here you always can put some little um, labels or a little really flat flower so you can put some text on it or you can write something down on the on the tag so the first thing is ready so let's go inside and let's go make these ready to go